Welcome to Microsoft Technical Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see the functionality of accepted SQL Server and also what is the order of execution whenever we are uh, mentioning all the keywords in a single select statement except intercept and union. So, we can go through other videos that are available for intercept and union, what are the differences and how we can use them. We will go through that particular uh, video in MS Tech Tutorials. Now we will see how, we, how the accept will work in SQL Server. So I have created two tables, HR employees and admin employees. This is the data available in this table. So what is the accept case? Whenever you are mentioning, so all these operators, union, select and union, intercept and accept will work on two different result sets. So you will mention one result set and the operator, either it is union, union or, or intercept or accept and then you will mention another result set it will perform operation on top of that based on the keyword that you have given so here i will use except so what is the functionality of except is it will take the first result set and the second result set it will compare the data available in these two result sets whatever the data is available in the first table and it should not be available in the second table at that time it will give that result set so for example if you see over here i have written the query as select id from hr select id from admin so i am selecting only id so 153 is available over here here in the second table 412 is available so only one is in common apart from that nothing is there so it will take it is indirectly like a minus b should be available in a but not in b so one is available it won't return that five and three are not available in the second table so it will give the result set as five comma three now like I will execute this you can see 3 and 5 it gave and one more thing you can understand from this is it will order the data also if you see here order is 153 I did not mention in order whereas if when you are getting the result set you are getting in one particular order so 3 and 5 so it will order the data and then it will show you the results same thing I will do with id comma name and we will see what is the result set so whatever is available in the first table it is giving because nothing is in common with the second table if you see the data in the two tables one is in common and further name is also not matching only one is matching so in case of if you mention only id it is skipping one because it is available in the second table and it is giving the remaining results whereas if you are mentioning id comma name so nothing is matching everything from the first table is displayed for us you can see that result over here so here the data is ordered based on the id 1 3 comma 5 now i will change it to name comma id so it should order the data based on name that we will see uh, i'm changing it admin name comma id and then execute so order if you change the order of columns it won't affect anything but only it will affect the order of uh, your data so it came ajay anil and srikant so it ordered based on the first column whatever the first column you will mention over here it will order the data based on that now we will see how to use two different operators in the same set of statement in the same set so we learned about accept intercept and union now we will use accept and intercept at the same time what will happen which one will take the priority now i am executing this first i am doing select id from hr and select id from admin employees and then i am intersecting it with select one what results it we got just check it out so we are getting three comma five why we are getting three comma five so it will whatever the order you mention intercept will take the highest priority so what is what you are getting out of this is you are getting only one so only one is in common between this admin employees and select one that will give only one so admin employees we have four comma one comma two and if you are intercepting you will get one because only one is in common after that what it will do it will do intercept operation if you are mentioning the select id from employee from hr employees table so from the second result set we got one and then it will do accept operation with the first table so in first table i have 
one comma three comma five. If you see the date over here, one comma three comma five are available. And from the intersect operation, we got only one. So whenever you are doing except, it should be available in the first result set, but not in the second. So in first result set, I have one comma five comma three. Whereas from the second result set, I am getting one. So it should give the result set as three comma five. And then try to include union at the time which one will take the priority. So how many operators you are giving it doesn't matter. So only intercept will take the highest priority and then accept and then it will union the data. You can see three four five till intercept we are getting the data is three comma five and then we are unioning it with four so you are getting the data is three comma four comma five. So this is the difference between three different operators and how we can use it. We can use we can use uh, brackets over here if you want to make only that query to execute first and everything. But if you are not mentioning and if you are not giving any priority like brackets or everything, it will take intercept will take the highest priority and then accept. Then it will union the data. This is how these three operators will work in SQL.